Okay. Uh, good morning, every. Oh, let me share my screen too. Sorry. I always do this. All right. so, although, was I already? Maybe I wasn't sharing my screen. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the anime, manga, and graphic novels in the library, part of an ongoing series in the Skill Builders workshops that will happen throughout the semester. In today's session, you'll learn about McCain Library's collection of anime, manga, and graphic novel titles on the first floor. During this session, we will review the titles owned by the library, discuss resources for both reading and studying these creative formats, and exploring additions to the collection. Uh, my name is Christopher Bishop. I'm a librarian here at Agnes Scott. I also love comic books, uh, graphic design, and animation. Um, as I already said, this session will be recorded, so you may want to mute your video if you don't want to appear on the screen. Um, as I'm talking, feel free to just interject. You don't even, because I'm probably not going to pay attention to the chat, or if you raise a hand. So if you want to ask a question or interject, or there's something that you think is of interest, just go ahead and do so. You don't need to wait for me to, you know, acknowledge you or anything. Um, so before we start, any questions? All right, I will take that as a no. Okay, and can everybody see the slideshow? It should say uh, location. Yeah. Cool, okay. So the, as you may know, the graphic novels, anime and manga now have their own dedicated collection location on the first floor. It's back near the fireplace. Uh, there's spine stickers that'll indicate as part of that collection. It'll, I believe they all say graphic novel on them. And I believe the anime ones say anime on them, the DVDs. Um, everything is interfiled according to call number. We talked about possibly doing it alphabetically or by genre or something like that. At this point, honestly, the collection's not huge. So I don't think that it's an impediment to have everything by call number. As the collection grows in the future, I think we may reorganize and we may split things out, or we may go by genre, theme, alphabetical, something like that. But for now, they're basically interfiled by the call number. And the only time that can become a problem is basically a lot of graphic novels, because they're basically considered graphic art, have a very similar call number. So sometimes these call numbers can be so similar that it becomes problematic to differentiate them. And one of the reasons that we brought these down to the first floor is if you had gone up to, I think before they were on the second floor, if you went up there, it was like they were interfiled with other art books, but they weren't really distinguished. So this way, this is a way to highlight them. Um, and then the anime uh, DVDs are filed separately to the left. There's also a box for suggestions. So at any time a student can come and write something down and put that into the box and then we will look at ordering. I think so far we have we have had some suggestions and I think we've ordered all of those. So I can't promise that we'll order everything you suggest, but we there's probably a pretty decent chance that we would. Um, and as I said, the collection is relatively small at this point. It'll certainly grow in the future. I think part of the way to assisting and growing the collection is having students putting in suggestions uh using the collection just like um morgan's here from the anime club but the anime club um the last i think two maybe three years at least the last two years has donated a number of books and that that's always helpful but i think the thing that's going to help the collection grow the most is just student interest if i can show that there's uh decent circulation numbers so checkouts for these books and there's interest and obviously the anime club is strong on campus and that that definitely helps us to procure more items so definitely that interest is always appreciated um, the first guide I wanted to look at, and this is a relatively new one, is graphic novels in McCain. So the anime and manga is split out, and then the graphic novels, which would include everything but um, manga, are here. And I'm going to take you to the URL. And if you go to libguides.adnascott.edu forward slash graphic novels. Uh, we have a really comprehensive guide. This was for the most part put together by a student who's now a senior at Agnes Scott who interned in the library over the summer and they did an incredible job. So what you've got here is this is kind of just an overview 
And then you've got a how to use the guide. So there's an A to Z list, which is basically in, uh, literally an alphabetical li list of everything that we own. That's a graphic novel. Again, that's not manga. And then when you come down, it also, and we're gonna we're hoping to do this with the um, anime uh, and manga guide soon, is there's a filter by genre, there's a filter by representation, and then there's another section that's reference and research. And so if we go up here and we go to the A to Z list, this is literally every title that we own alphabetically. It has a description, it tells you the call number, and then this link, which we're going to talk about more in a couple minutes, links you out to that book. So it tells you um, if it's available or not, uh, the exact floor it's on, that kind of information. Also, as I'll show you, it also helps you to where you can place a hold if you want to place a hold and then come and pick it up. And there's also ways to use this to find other books that if we even if we don't own them, you can place an interlibrary loan request. So as I said, there's a complete A to Z list. This is everything. Super helpful. And then I certainly think the A to Z list is, is super helpful. What I really like too, though, is basically what you see here. This is filter by genre. So basically, these are the different genres that we came up with. And there's certainly probably some categories that we've missed. There's some genres where maybe it's very possible it could be both African American studies and fantasy, or it could be religion and science fiction. So some things may come up in more than one category. Some things may just be in one category. But basically what it allows you to do, and I'll just click into the LGBTQIA plus, is it takes you in and then you can review titles that um, would be helpful within that genre. And there's probably some things that will come up that would be obvious. And then there may be a few things where you're like, wait, what? And it's because if the genre, if it's really kind of a, a slight um, presence, we're probably not really going to put it here. It's got to be something that's very important to the storyline. So you've got all the filter by genre. And then filter by representation. And you can see here, this is going to be religious or and or ethnic groups. And so you see LGBTQIA again, but then you also see Muslim, Jewish, Hindu, Buddhist, Middle Eastern, North African, Arab, um, I'll click on Black, African, and African American, and it'll take you into titles that fit within that um, representation. And again, there's probably some areas that we have left out or overlooked, or maybe there's just things we don't own that fall within that that we will in the future. So I think this is a really cool way to look at to break down these different genres, representation, things like that, and, and look for those because it's super important. I think graphic novels, comics, uh, anime and manga are definitely some art forms that are doing that. And then under reference and research, I think sometimes I, I do definitely have appointments with students sometimes who are doing research and they're using um, oftentimes it's manga as kind of their focal point. I don't know, though, that students that have a real interest in these different um, uh, types of art, I don't know if students always know that you can, if this is your area of interest, something you feel strongly about, you can really weave it into your papers, research, things like that, because this touches on so many different things, um, the way that things are presented in these art forms. And so basically here, these are books that are about um, comics, different themes, areas of research. And so if you are interested in this, this gives you a really good place to kind of start and look at how do you research, how could you investigate, and just all the different books that are available. And again, I think if this is something you really like and you feel strongly about, what it really says is there is so much research that's being done in these areas that it's probably something that you could harness to do something you're interested in, but also there's an existing body of research that would be helpful. And then over here we've got, these are physical books that we own. Also though, these are e-resources. So these are e-books that if you clicked on this title and went into WorldCat, our catalog, it would be an e-book and you could just read it online. So I think what's important too is to remember that we have physical books, but we also have e-books. It's very possible that something we don't own physically could be available in electronic format. So this would help you get to those.
probably it's going to be more research and academic than um, an ebook that is a graphic novel, but there are definitely are some. Before I go to the anime and manga guide, are there any questions about this guide or is there anything you feel like is missing or anything that you would like to see? And we'll, we'll talk more about suggestions in that, but any general questions, observations, anything like that? is kind of uh, wondering when you say that a lot of the times like manga is often used as a source for research yeah. um i'm just kind of wondering like what kind of projects and things like that would yeah. would people be looking at and that would um require like such like such a source like that so i can give you a good example um in the spring there was a student who was taking a class here with Dr. Pippin called Queer Theology. And the student was interested in looking at LGBTQ representation in manga. And so, and the term escapes me, but there's a term in manga, and I don't know if either of you know, it's a term in manga for um, same-sex male relationships. Yowie. Yowie. That's say. it. Yowie. That's okay. it. That's like, uh, yeah. So Yowie. So what was interesting is we could find some academic literature that talked about these relationships and um, kind of uh, progress in that area, but also how it's still kind of taboo. But what I thought was interesting too, is that there's a lot of fan sites and things like that, that talk about it. And there were a lot of kind of non-academic materials that talked about it too. So this is one of those ones where the student had to look more broadly at academic material dealing with manga and uh, gender, um, sexual orientation, like representation in that way. And then look at the characters themselves and then look at how the character was being presented um, in that. But that's that's an example. Others I can think of in the last few years have definitely been about like um, women and representation, so gender roles. Um, and then also how ideas about, say, Japanese culture are transmitted through manga and that idea of the other or foreignness. Um, so those are some ones I can think of off the top of my head. But basically I would say if there's anything, if there's anything that you want to research that's honestly social, economic, historical, philosophical, you can do, you could do so through, through manga or anime or just generally comics because it touches on all these things. Right, because essentially, like, there's kind of been a joke uh, within the the club that, like, so whenever we want to have a collab with another club, like, we're always mm -hmm. like, there's a movie for that, right? Exactly. Because so, right. it usually is. But also, on top of that as well, like, I, myself, I'm, so I'm a mu uh, music student, mm -hmm. uh, music major, and I've been able to find a lot of great resources talking about, like, so anime and anime movies, like the Studio Ghibli films that have really, really great soundtracks. Mm -hmm. And so looking at Joe Hisaishi and like his minimalistic soundtracks and how they evoke nostalgia, like there really is a lot of stuff you can look at in anime. Yeah, and I think that's one of those things, one of the, one of the things I personally loved about college and attending college was that if you have interest, you can always find a way to distill them into your research, into what you want to uh, study and analyze. And so I think this is one of those things sometimes um, in talking to students, they have these hobbies or, or interests or like just a deep seated fascination with something. And it's like, oh, you can totally do your research in that field. Uh, there's hardly ever a time where it's like, no, I just don't see how you can make a connection there. Um, so definitely because these art forms cross over into so many parts of culture, um, so many issues and concerns it's it's yeah it's pretty easy to make those connections does that answer your question morgan yes very much so thank you perfect um and then next we are going to talk about the anime and manga and mccain guide and this guide like i said this guide we made probably it's 
three, three or so years old. It, it does need it, it's it's totally updated all the everything in here is current but i would like to make it a little more like the graphic novel guide so we could break it down by representation and genres and things like that um as you can see here there's a shout out to the anime club and the anime club's email which does that still morgan is that that's still correct right will this still go to you guys yes yes it is right it was okay um, and then also here, and I should have mentioned this on the other one, and we'll talk a little bit more about this, but if you have something that you think the library should own on both guides, there's a suggest a purchase and basically you click on this and it'll take you into a form It just ask you what what is the title, the author, that kind of information. And there's a few resources here, just a short history. And then otherwise, though, the anime is broken down again, this is an A to Z list. It's broken down by title. I personally am, uh, I am like a huge Nausicaa fan. So that's like my favorite. So I, it's like anything Nausicaa. I mean, I would I would probably wallpaper the library with something to do with that. But Nausicaa is my favorite too. Is it really, oh my God, I remember yeah. the first time I saw- I'm trying to read the manga for Nausicaa. Yeah. Oh, I love the manga, yeah. I remember- I want to own like every volume for it. Oh, that's good. Okay. Because when I saw it, I think I was in high school and I, it was like on a bootleg copy of it at the time. I don't think it was a very good copy. And I just remember being just blown away. The art, the story, uh, just everything. So yeah, but there's, you know, this is definitely based on student interest and, and a, um, a decent amount of this material has come from the anime club. So a, a number of the Blu-rays and movies and things like that. And then some, you know, certainly some films like, um, I don't know about now, but definitely in the past, Spirited Away has been used in some classes. Um, my neighbor, Totoro, that's definitely been used in some classes. So definitely we would want more suggestions there. And then manga, again, this is just going to be alphabetical. And I think we could definitely use especially more titles in manga. Those. And then up at the top. And then we also have reference and research. And again, you can see adult manga, culture of power, contemporary Japanese society, anime and memory. There's, a, and this is just kind of the tip of the iceberg. This is just what we happen to own. There's lots more books. This is interesting too Cosplay in America. The author actually um, reached out to libraries and said, Oh, if you'd like a copy of my book, then uh, email me. And they shared a copy. If you ever get a chance, it's a really pretty um, picture book. It's very large. It's over there. Uh, and then a book like, say, Dreamland in Japan, that's kind of like a, that's a, one of your, like, I would say, go-to books about manga. It was like one of the kind of cornerstone uh, studies. So as you can see, lots of those. And then also an easy list of books on Japanese history and culture. These books are going to be up in the stacks. But I definitely find that oftentimes students that are interested in manga and or anime are also interested generally in, you know, Japanese history and culture and things like that. So we tried to include that. And then we also have a section here for Japanese fiction, which I don't know um, if you all are reading. Like I can tell you now, like this book out is one of my favorites. It's really interesting. It's about these women that work in a Japanese um, factory and it's about class and gender relations in Japan. It's really very interesting. So these are all books that are Japanese fiction. As you can see, we could certainly add more titles there. Um, yeah, and like I said, we're going to add more to this list, but that gives you an idea of an overview. Any questions about this guide? Uh, question about this fic Japanese fiction. Are they in Japanese or are they just English translations? They're English. All right, However, cool. um, if you are interested, Sydney, I am. So do you want things in Japanese? No, because I, oh, well, okay. I want to study Japanese, but like, <laughs> because I want yeah, I was to study, say, but like, I don't think no. I'm at that level yet. <laughs> okay. I was going to say, because if you are, you can definitely, I mean, we don't have very many books in Japanese, but we can certainly, because one of the things I'm going to talk about next is interlibrary loan. You can look for books in the catalog that even though, though we don't may not own them are in Japanese and you can get them through interlibrary loan. Like, for example, there was a student last week who wanted to books in Creek. 
uh, Native American language. And we don't own any, but we found a number of like English to Creek um, translations and things like that, that we could order. So if you ever do get to that point and you're interested, we can definitely find those kind of things in the catalog and then we can order them. Yep. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's go back. So let's look at, let's say like, this is a book, this is using WorldCat to locate titles. So when you're in a guide, and so let's say, let's go back to manga and let's go down. So let's say we're a Death Note all-in-one edition. So I'm in here and I'm looking at this and I'm like, oh yeah, I really want to check this out, but it's going to be, you know, two days before I can get it. And I want to make sure it's there because I'm going home for Thanksgiving break and I want to read some stuff. What you can do is when you're in here, if when you go in, it says Agnes Scott College Library available and it says we own it, you can click on place hold and then you're just going to prompt you to log in here. It may just log me in because, yeah, it just logs me in. Normally, it asks you for your um, Agnes Scott uh, login and password, network login and password, but I have already been in here. So basically, what it's going to do up here is it's going to have your name. And then from that, you can place a hold. So this, I would put any copy just because we only have one copy of it. I'm just going to pick it up in the um, library. I don't know if you all know this, but you can also, there's some lockers right outside the um, ground floor door of the library, kind of over by the CDVL. If you want to, if it's, let's say you can't pick it up till um, Saturday at nine o'clock at night and we're closed, you can schedule it for the lockers and we'll just put it in there and then you can just pick it up whenever. So you can do either. And then basically you would just hit submit. And when you hit submit, we will pull it and put it on hold for you. And you have about a week and you can just come and pick it up. So that's one thing you can do. Another thing, Screen down a little bit. Another thing that I think students aren't always aware of is with interlibrary loan. So interlibrary loan is where basically we don't own an item and you want to get that item from another library. There are no limits on how much stuff you interlibrary loan and there's no cost to interlibrary loan things. So if there's something you want and we don't own it, you can certainly do that. Another thing that I really like about our catalog is it has these subject headings here, right? So this tells me the subject heading is death, personification, comic book strips, et cetera. Comic book strips, et cetera, is oftentimes the subject heading that'll be used with graphic novels and manga. And then you see here too, death, comic book strips, et cetera. And then this is comic book strips, et cetera, Japan. You can probably guess that is a very wide subject heading. It will, we'll click on it in a moment. It'll probably return us thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of results. And then you have fancy comic books. You can use this if you don't know the exact title. You can use this as a way to just kind of peruse related things. So if I click on this, hopefully I didn't overstate how much stuff. Hopefully it doesn't bring up five things and I'm like, oh yeah. Okay, yeah. It brought up over 55,000 unique items that are related to comic books, strips, etc. cetera, Japan. And then basically as you scroll down, there's going to be some things that will be like kind of research or about there will be other things that will be comic book strips but basically what you can do is so let's go down and let's say this one i know we own uh let's find some we don't own let's say i wanted this one comic party volume five and we don't own it what i can do is i would just click here and then over here it's going to say request items from other libraries so i'm just going to click on this it's got, it has me logged in. And then basically, I'm just going to go down here and fill out this information and hit submit, and then you will get it in a couple of days to a week. So the really nice thing is with this, if there's anything that you want to read or you're interested in, we are in no way going to be like, why did you order all 10 volumes of Comic Party? That's really none of our business as to what you're reading or why you're reading it or whatever. So you can put in as many requests as you want to get these titles and to look at them. Um, again, if it's owned by an arch library in Georgia, it'd probably be a couple days. If we have to get it from a library that's a little further out, it can take up to a week. It really shouldn't take longer than a week to get something. And you can put in multiple requests. So again, I would say if you have a specific title, you can certainly put it here. But these subject headings are super helpful to finding things 
that are related. I mean, even this graphic novels, Japan translations into English, that's not something I would have thought to put in as a search, but it will come up and then you can, these will get really specific. This down here, I would not click on graphic novels. That's like clicking on the word book, not helpful. And I definitely wouldn't click on the word Japan because it literally will return a bunch of things that have to do with Japan. So 1,491,000, not helpful. But the more specific ones, like up here, I just point to, these can be super helpful. And then you'll see other, you have genres and it'll give you some other information. Another thing is too, these authors, you can always click on the author. So there's an author you really like. You always click on that author and then you'll see other work that they've done too. And it'll all come up in here together which to me, I always like, because that's a, a really cool way to find things that are related that I just wouldn't thought of or I didn't know of. So I like to use those. Any question about using those tools or interlibrary loan? Okay. And again, do not be afraid to use that resource because it is super helpful. Um, and then you probably have all kinds of different ways that you like to find graphic novels and that. One site that I use to track what I'm reading and I also use to find other materials too is Goodreads. Do, do we, either of you use Goodreads to find things or track things or anything like that? I use Barnes and Noble when I go shopping sometimes. Yeah, I use Amazon to yeah. track things. I just uh, got really interested in reading ever since like I checked out a book from the library for the blind date with the book thing when I was a freshman, so. Oh, cool, cool. Well, Goodreads is really cool because you can sign in and you can basically like, let me see, I'll just sign in real quick. Like you can, you can log in and then do my books and basically you can like list all the stuff that you've read and then you can rate it and look at other, um, suggestions and things like that like personally i thought ready player two was awful and i loved the first book so i was highly disappointed so i gave it one star but uh, uh like this book hitler's various german women and nazi um killing fields i thought was really interesting but more of a four i had a little review in there and it can let you keep up with like what you're reading and things like that so i like goodreads a lot but what i was going to say is when you're in goodreads you can see it's got best graphic novels, uh, comics and graphic novels by women, superhero fiction, best of Batman. It has all these different ones. That I, I really like those. And so when let's say best graphic novels, if you click into that, it will give you a list of basically what are considered the best graphic novels. And then as you go through, if you wanted to, you could always cut, like I know we have Bone, uh, you could always copy that title and then go back into WorldCat. And so let's say like, if I was like, oh, I want to read, have you, have you ever read Bone? I want to, because I missed out when I was a kid, because I was closed-minded. Now I'm a little more open. <laughs> it's really... I actually own, I own that volume that is in the library and I've read all oh, of it and I, I adore it. Yeah, it's really good. It's really good. My sisters loved it. My sisters loved it. And I want to read it, check it out, see, see how it is. It's really good. And it's also kind of timeless. It's one of those ones. Well, okay, so this one, this is volume seven, but I'll bet you if I go back up here. So if you ever find this and you're like, okay, I think the library should own it. And it's giving you kind of a lot of other stuff. If you click on Agnes Scott McCain library, it'll limit it just to our holdings. And then I picked the one book that's not going right up. It's like picking, oh, 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 oh. What you can do then is if you do TI, which just stands for title. I should find it then. <laughs> I'm on the spot. Why is it not finding it? <laughs> it's like finding bones, like the TV show and stuff. And it's like, no, I want bone, the complete edition. Oh boy. Well, what you could also do. Okay. You know what? This is good. <laughs> what you can also do when something like that happens is I could also click into it and i can find i can find the isbn number and i'm going to take that isbn number and i'm going to put that in there and there it is 
So if you ever have that problem, if you have the ISBN number, you can you can find it that way. But it says we have it. it just has kind of a different cover than the one we have. Um, but yeah, Goodreads, I really like that. I think that's a really good uh, source. And basically what I wanted to say with this is if you are on Amazon or Barnes and Nobles or you find a list like um, Goodreads or something like that, you can use that list to then find things in WorldCat and then interlibrary loan them if you want. So basically you can find these titles wherever. And given that we're a library that does interli interlibrary loan with all kinds of libraries, we should be able to get you a copy, no problem. So that's really nice because I know personally, I love to read and I love to read lots of different things. And I would say now I'm at a point where I just really don't have any more room at home. So I just get things, well, I've always borrowed things from the library, but I found increasingly it's like, I just don't have any more room for this stuff. So I just use interlibrary loan in the library a whole lot more to get graphic novels and things like that. I always used it for books. So, you know, not to dissuade you, everybody should buy things that you want in that, but just to extend, or if you're not sure you want something. Um, and then academic literature, just for the sake of time, I won't go into this one, but again, I kind of touched on this before, but just remember, like this is discovering Galileo. I did a very simple search. I just did manga and gender. You can see here, it came up. I limited this to academic resources. It still came up with over 10,000 results. Now, some of those not, might not be very good, but, some of this may be and I think what's interesting here even with this first title cute girls tough boys performing gender in Algerian manga so remember manga right is a worldwide art form done in all kinds of different countries and places and different people so just wanted to kind of mention that to keep it in uh, mind um, and then we're going to do a little trivia and you will have a 50-50 uh, chance of winning <laughs> um, but before we do that um, so as far as new titles, do you all have any ideas? Are there any, is there anything that you'd like to see that we don't have? Demon Slayer. Say that again. Demon Slayer. Oh, Demon Slayer. Okay. Anything else? Anything else that you feel like, oh yeah, I think lots of people should read this. It's I want to eat your pancreas. Um, so since, since you did bring up the fact that manga is a worldwide genre, it reminded me of this one series I really enjoyed, but haven't finished yet. Um, it is called Witchbuster. Okay. Yeah. I haven't heard of it. That. Yeah. It's, it's a manhwa. So that's like mm -hmm. the Korean version of manga. Mm -hmm. Right. And it has, it is very much like if you like Soul Eater and D Gray Man, it is very much like a good title for that. It's very good. It has like Arthur, Arthurian legend in it. Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. Okay. I got that one. Anything else that you would say like, okay, you must have this. Um, I mean, yeah. Demon, Demon Slayer is a good one. Um, what was another? <sighs> I saw yeah. one volume of Revolutionary Girl Utena. Mm -hmm. Maybe you should get the other one because it's only like two volumes. Yeah, that's, that's a good. Okay, cool. I will, um, I will, we will probably get those and, and then I will let you know, I'll follow up. Um, and then, you know, obviously with the anime club or others, if other, you know, if there's interest or things like, oh, well, why don't they have this? Or why don't they have that? The most important things is just for them to convey that to, to me or someone in the library. And then we will definitely look at ordering them. It's probably easiest if you, um, like do the submit purchase request that's on those guys or email me. But certainly if you just emailed even the library or just brought up a slip of paper and said, hey, why don't you guys own this? And gave it to somebody at the reference desk or circulation desk, they would all also forward the request. So before we do the trivia, any other questions, comments, anything like that? All right, I have, have either of you read this, Shuri? Is this about uh, T'Challa's little sister? Is this Black Panther? Oh, you just gave away. No, you didn't give. No, you kind of did. You kind of gave away. Yes, it has to deal with that world. Okay, I like. I recognized her name, the character's name, but yeah, I have not read it yet. So. Okay, so we have a copy of this for the collection, and then they sent us an additional copy, and I said, "Oh, this would be good as a giveaway." Okay, so I'm going to ask three questions. 
and basically whoever says whoever gives me the response quickest for each one wins the book so are you ready all right <laughs> okay and Let's when you see. give when you give me your response say your name because i can't i can only see i can't see so then i'll be like what okay <laughs> Cherie is a resident of uh, Morgan. It's Wakanda, <laughs> right? <laughs> yes, that's right. Okay. <laughs> okay, that was the easy one. It get a little harder. Mm -hmm. Okay, next is a Cowboy Bebop question. Oh, have you both seen Cowboy Bebop? Yes, I've seen a little bit. I haven't. Seen it. <laughs> okay, they're also making a live action movie, which looks incredible. Yeah. Um, okay, so this is gonna, it's a little harder. What is the name of Spike's fighter craft? Oh, no. Anyone? Isn't it, is it just the Bebop? No. No, is that, that's the big ship. I haven't finished the series. Okay, I'll, it's Swordfish. Sword. right now this one is going to test how well you've been paying attention what is the call number for the complete persepolis by marjane setrapi what is the call number for the complete persepolis and persepolis is p-e-r-s-e-p-o-l-i-s Persepolis, and we definitely the library owns a copy, and you would see it both in the graphic novel guide, and you would see it in the World Cat catalog. So you could go to it either way. Um. You all are scaring me right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, no. Okay. So where would you find the call number? So the call number, right? It should be like on the. It is on. It's on next the... to the book on the guide. And, it, right. and then if you clicked into it, it would take you into WorldCat and it would show you the call number too. Okay. This is Sydney. The call number is PN674S25P4713207. Oh my God. Great. Thanks, Sydney. Now we're tied. Good job. <laughs> okay. I looked it up. So um okay, let me um let me let me think of another one. Um what is some what is what is a series that you both feel equally familiar with? What is what is what is something that where we can like test some deeper knowledge. Oh, deep knowledge. I mean, it seems like we both like our Studio Ghibli movies. Yeah. I really love the Studio Ghibli though. That's like one of the precursors that got me into anime, so. All right, let me, give me a second. All right. Oh, if anyone watching this is gonna be like, what are they doing? <laughs> Uh, he's just looking for a question because they died. Because yeah, because neither of us knew what the bebop ship was called, and one of us forgot how to do a call number. So okay. I just searched it. Uh, yeah, but no, but you can't. <laughs> you can't. Okay. Okay. How okay. are we supposed to memorize a number that long anyway? <laughs> no, 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 no. You just had to look it up. Yeah. Okay, I've got one. Oh, okay. The director of The Tale of Princess Kagui? Kagua? Kaguya? Was it Toshio Suzuki? Yes. Was it Toshio Suzuki? Sydney? No. You're asking who it is? I'm asking. Yeah. Uh, wait, so the director of Creator of the Fireflies, my neighbor, um, the Yamadas, 
and the director of Spirit Away, Princess Mononoke, and my neighbor Totoro co-founded Studio Ghibli together. Name one of those directors. Hayao Miyazaki Sydney. Yes. You got <laughs> Can you name the other one for bonus points? Hosho Suzuki Isao is Takahata. another one. Toshio Suzuki is the producer. Isao Takahata mm-hmm. is a director. There he you go. That's, <laughs> that's, both the, that's both the names. All yeah. right. Well, it sounds like Sid, Sydney, you won. So yeah, I am Sydney going... Did. <laughs> I'm going to leave this book at the circulation desk for you. Oh, thank name. you. So you just come mm-hmm. by, pick up, and it's yours. You don't have to return or anything. All right, cool. Cool. Okay. Um, so I'm going to save this file, and then I'll post it. And um, I'll probably, uh, Morgan, I'll probably send it to you. So if other people want to watch, if they find that to be helpful in the anime club, yeah. you can definitely share that. Any other final questions, insights, concerns? Thank you. Cool. Yes, thank you very much. Yeah. You are welcome. All right, so I'll email that to you, and Sydney, you come by and pick up the graphic novel. All right, thank you. All right, see y'all later. Good job, Sydney. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.